me as a small business owner is officially about to be done and that's kind of scary help me bro this tape is getting on my nerves i'm really leaving like this is the last time i'm gonna be in my apartment we got two more hours and yeah we we almost there <laughs> All right, y'all, I have so much to do. It's not even funny. <laughs> I've never done like this big of a move before. So it's like a lot of stuff I'm like trying to learn. If you guys don't know, I currently live in New Orleans. So I'm like moving out of state, which is weird for me. Y'all remember that short that I did when my sister did my voiceover and she called these dentures? I thought that was funny. But anyways, we have so much to do today. Like I'm talking like a whole list of stuff. So the movers are actually coming in two days. So it's Monday. So they're coming on Wednesday, I believe, yeah. They're coming on Wednesday. And so I haven't packed anything yet, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so today we need to go to Walmart and I need to get boxes in order to move. Thankfully, I don't have any furniture, so I don't need like any really big boxes. But I'm going to need like, I want to say like 10 to 20. So I'm just going to grab a couple and then I may just go back when I need some later. I also have a bunch of stuff that I need to return today. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to be packaging orders for the last time today, which I'm very excited for. It's crazy. Me as a small business owner is officially about to be done and that's kind of scary. Also a couple of weeks ago, I went through my closet and I have like four big boxes of clothes I'm gonna give away to Goodwill today. I've been meaning to drop them off for like two weeks but I just never did it. So there's just a lot of stuff we have to do today. I also have no content so I have to film because I have nothing to post like I've never been this low on content before. And also just mentally, it's just so much going on. I'm like stressed and overwhelmed. And like my apartment's an absolute mess because I just don't have any furniture and I'm like trying to sort stuff out and I just have stuff everywhere and it's really irking me. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I, let me, I'm just gonna show you guys the state of my apartment and please don't judge me, okay? It's just a lot, don't, don't judge me. Right here we have my bathroom, which obviously is a hot mess. I actually have gotten so much PR from like skincare companies and stuff. I ran out of counter space and I didn't wanna buy anything to organize stuff because I'm about to move, but yeah. Okay, then we have my bedroom. Uh, I haven't made up the bed yet, but I um, sold my bed, so I've been sleeping on an air mattress, which honestly is pretty comfortable. And I've just been having a bunch of stuff, like my charger and stuff. It's just a hot mess. And then my closet, I don't have any dressers or anything like that because I sold everything. So I've just been kind of keeping my clothes and my makeup stuff just here. <laughs> And y'all, I got this super cute PR package from Pacifica. They gave me so much stuff. They gave me like a bunch of skincare, mask, makeup, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm really excited to try all this. They gave me just a whole bunch of stuff. And then my favorite section, these are all the clothes. So in these boxes right here are the ones I'm going to donate. And then I spent a bunch of money last month buying a whole bunch of stuff, like basically just redoing my wardrobe. As you see, I've only worn a couple of things. I haven't tried anything on because I'm not sure what I want to pack and what I want to keep. So yeah. Okay, so right now I'm about to actually just print out my shipping labels. As you can see, I sold my desk. So my computer is on the floor. If you guys watch my small business playlist, you see me like do this whole process of like buying shipping labels and stuff. Okay, so like I said, we're about to package all of my orders for the last time, which is crazy. Literally, this is all I have left. I have this, these are all herbal infused hair butters. So this is all I have left in here. And then these are all the oils that I have left, which is like nothing. And I've sold all of this. So once I'm done packaging this, we will officially be done packaging orders for the rest of my life, hopefully. <laughs> Just printing out my shipping labels. I have about 20 something orders. And so y'all have seen this process like so many times if you watch my small business playlist, but I'm just gonna pull up the order on my phone so I can just make sure that I know what every person got. So this person just got an oil, so we about to just do that. The reason this is my last time packaging orders is because I've talked about this so many times is I've decided to get my products manufactured. And ever since Black Friday, it just became 
so difficult for me to keep up with my business on my own with like I'm talking hundreds of orders packaging making hundreds of hair products a month and so it just became easier for me to just decide to get my products made by manufacturer and so I've been working with them since I want to say, yeah, I've been working with them since February to formulate the product and get them manufactured. And I wanted to time my move for when they would be ready so I wouldn't have to make products and package orders in my new place. Um, because I have to do one or the other. So thankfully everything will be ready, I would say, like the next two weeks. So everything works out perfectly. So I will be out of stock for, I want to say, at most like two weeks. Which is, I mean, I've done that before, so it's fine. I'm trying to hurry up because the post office closes at 5 and it's 1, but I have a couple other things I need to do before I can leave the house. So I'm trying to hurry up because I have a bunch, a bunch of errands to run today. It's just so surreal because I remember when I started my business two years ago, you know, I would always think about expanding my business and having people work for me and make products for me. But, you know, I realized I don't want to be a hands-on business owner. Like... <laughs> Because I've always enjoyed content creation and influencing over my business. It's just that I put so much time and energy into my business. Because my business is what has been making me the most money. So obviously I'm going to dedicate more time and energy into that. Because it pays my bills. And don't get me wrong, I love my business. I love, you know, what I do and everything. But I, I really just want to focus on being an influencer and a content creator. Which is also a big reason why I'm moving to Atlanta. Just to you know get some connections and be able to make better quality content i don't know and so i decided to go with the more hands-off approach of getting products manufactured and the great thing about that is i have full control over all my formulas so it's not like someone's like forcing me to put stuff in my products that are not you know appropriate which is a good thing oh we got one here better so i don't know we'll see I mean, the only thing that I'm a little bit nervous about is that the products are going to be, all the products that I currently have on my website are not going to exist anymore. And so just trying to figure out my audiences and my customers' response to that and, you know, trying to figure out how to be able to get people to still buy the products even though they're different. But, I mean, I low-key did the same thing a year ago when I came out with, like, all these products that I had. And I had to work on advertising the products and like building up my customer base around these products. So I know I can do it. It's just like I didn't want to have to start over. But it's like if I want my business to be successful and I want to grow, then I kind of have no choice but to start over again. So, All right, but let me just finish these up. I only got like a couple more. And then we're going to move on. All right, so I've just finished packaging all the orders. So now I have a couple of things I need to return. So let me grab that really quick. Okay, so first is these two boxes, um, which contain mailers. So I actually over-ordered on these. I didn't realize that I had enough, so I actually ordered 400 extra, and obviously I didn't use them. So I'm going to return these so I can get my money back. And also, for some reason, the container company that I use, they I did not order this, but they sent me like a bunch of the bottles like for the oils and i don't know why i don't recall paying for it but i'm just going to send it back just in case i did but i don't really remember buying this at all and i also have this huge box because i am going to be returning my imac basically my apartment that i'm moving to is a one bedroom apartment and so i wanted a two bedroom but you know atlanta rent is high and i'm like Let's just live under my means. I got a really nice one bedroom apartment. And so because I'm not really gonna be doing a lot of like hands-on business stuff anymore, I don't really need a desk area. And so there's no reason for me to have an iMac. And so I decided to like just trade it in for a pro book. So I have this box that they sent. I'm gonna return it and drop that out today. And then also the Goodwill boxes that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I think we, we're good to, to leave the house. <laughs> While I'm out, I'm also going to head to the gym and work out for about an hour. And let me show you guys my fit. Okay, forgive the messy mirror, but I'm just wearing these biker shorts and this sports bra that I got from Shein, which I thought was super cute, and this jacket. Crap, I also forgot we gotta go to Walmart and get boxes. So currently it's like 2.30. My goal is to get back by like 5 if I can. That way I can just eat and then go ahead and pack, but we'll see, we'll see. Hey guys, so it's officially the next day and I am stressed. You hear me? 
last night i literally only packed those clothes that were like in my living room i only packed those the new ones that i bought and that's all i packed so the movers are going to be here tomorrow and i have like 90% of my apartment to pack so I'm most likely gonna just stay up all night and pack and then I'll just have tomorrow to chill and get everything the final touches I bought these boxes from Walmart they're like the medium size boxes I'm not sure I kind of want to hurry up and pack because I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to get some more boxes or this will be enough I bought 15 of these and then I bought what five of like the smaller version I feel like the most stuff that I have to pack up is my clothes everything else after that shouldn't be that bad because after this i have you know like bathroom stuff but i don't i don't think it's gonna be that bad so i'm just using packing tape to tape the ends so right now i kind of want to finish the rest of my clothes so it's currently what like 11 something and i have an eye appointment at two uh i ran out of contact and I haven't had an eye appointment in like two years. So they won't give me new contacts until I have another eye appointment. So I'm going to go do that. And I also want to get some more glasses because I don't like these. But these are the only ones I have left. So I want to get some new glasses. But for right now, I think, I don't know. So I don't know if I should pack my clothes with the hangers or if I should take the clothes off the hangers. I'm not sure what will take up more space. I mean, I can get more boxes today if I need. Let's just see. I like cleaned out, I'm telling y'all, I took all that stuff to Goodwill yesterday, I like cleaned out my entire closet. So everything that I have is stuff that I actually wear. I gave away about 60% of my clothes, so if that says anything. Yeah, I think I might keep the hangers on. And I still have to pack my shoes and my bags. Ooh, Lord help me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need another box. I'm gonna need another box. So when the movers come, I won't get my stuff until Friday. So the movers are going to come tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And, but I won't get my stuff delivered until Friday. And today is Tuesday, so that's like three days that I need to like leave clothes out and like stuff out um, for me to just be able to live off of before I get everything. So I'm trying to think about what I'm going to wear the next couple days while I'm packing. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to pack a suitcase of stuff for like the next couple days and just kind of chill off of that. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm probably going to do another box, though. But thankfully, I can leave the hangers on. That's good. I can leave my hangers. All right, so I'm going to definitely need another box. Okay, so I finished packing all of my clothes. My closet is completely empty, and I think I have about eight boxes. I went ahead and just packed a suitcase just full of stuff to last me through, like, Saturday, since that's probably when the movers are going to deliver my stuff. Also, I got a phone call from the movers, and they said that they aren't going to be here till the 29th. So, apparently, they had, like, an extra day they can come, but they can't come the day that they said. They are supposed to come the 28th, which is Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So, they were supposed to come tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But now, they're apparently coming Thursday, which is the day I plan on, like, leaving for Atlanta. The only thing is I'm concerned is that does give me an extra day to pack, because I really was, like, about to stay up all night. But... The thing is, it takes about seven hours for me to drive to Atlanta from New Orleans, and Atlanta is an hour behind, so I'm going to get there an hour later than I actually am, and so my only concern is I don't know how early in the morning they're coming, because I honestly need to leave at like 9 o'clock in order to get to my new place and like pick up my keys before the housing office closes, so I don't know how that's going to work, and I guess I could leave you know, stay an extra day here and then just leave the next day. But my only concern is I, my electricity gets cut off on the 29th. And so I don't want to be stuck here without power. And I told the people I was coming on the 29th. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Next thing we're doing is moving on to hair, beauty, and skincare products. All the makeup stuff that was right here, I actually went ahead and packed. So now I'm just about to sort through, like, all of my hair stuff. And just see what I'm going to take and what I'm going to toss. To be honest, let me just show you guys. Ooh. Oh, I almost hit my foot. Okay, so you guys have seen this if you like follow me anywhere for like the past couple months. This is my big wig box. And it's full of all the wigs that I've had since being a content creator. So like the past two years. I think I got my first wig in... March of 2021 I want to say so like two years 
I say, honestly, most of this is just from, like, the first year and a half I was doing influencing. The past year, I may have gotten, like, four or five. When I was in med school, I was doing, like, wig collabs, like, once a week for, like, six months straight. So, that's why I have so many. But you guys have been telling me that I should sell the ones that I don't use anymore. So... I'm not quite sure what I want to keep and what I want to throw away. A lot of these wigs I've only worn once. It's like, I'm not really in my wig era right now. I'm kind of over wigs. But I don't want to like wake up one day and want to wear a wig and don't have any. But that's kind of selfish, don't you think? I don't, I'm not going to wear all these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring all of them with me. And then once I get to my new place and I get settled, I may start selling them. And I'll just keep like the wigs that I know I'm going to want to wear again. Like just these staple wigs. So let's see. So for example, I'm probably going to keep this wig because this is, uh, y'all seen me wear this on one of my other YouTube videos. This is just a regular, smegular bang wig. It has no lace, so I can just pop this on if I need something quick. So I like having this, so I'm going to keep this one. This is a 36, no, not a 3613 blonde wig. I actually have never even, um worn this before i actually bought this wig whenever you know the color dyeing where you dip the hair into the a water with a bunch of color in it when that was popular because i wanted to dye this hair but i just never got around to it all this other stuff i have oh my goodness i have so much braiding hair and it's like as a black girl it's a struggle because every time i see a hairstyle on tiktok or instagram i want to do it and so i keep buying more and more and more braiding hair and other hair to do styles and i'm like okay you actually just need to use the hair that you've been buying so I might, I don't know. I have, okay, hear me out. Because, so I have a bunch of braiding here. And I've been really, y'all know like boho braids have been trending. So I think I want to do some boho braids. And instead of buying human hair, I'm going to use one of the wigs that the lace is like trash on. And cut the hair off the wig and use that for my boho braids. So I don't have to spend 100 bucks. So I think I'm going to do that. But right now, I just kind of, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to go through and just see. Like, all these, the, the only thing that I'm struggling with is a lot of these wigs I've only worn once. So, I don't even remember what a lot of these wigs look like. But, I don't know. I might start a little wig um, shop while I'm, uh, for the next month. I don't know. We'll see. I think what I'm just going to do is just to make things easier. Because this is not the priority, honestly. I think I'm just going to, like, do my best to, like, stuff everything in this box. And then just bring it with me and then I'll, I'll organize it once I move because like everything's kind of already packed. It's not like a huge thing right now, but this is a lot of wigs. So, I don't know. But I probably will start selling them. I mean, I would say I have at least like 30 or 40 wigs in here. And so if I sell them at like half price, that that's a good profit I feel like. So, I don't know. That might be a good thing because I also just found out that my manufactured products, I had this graphic designer who was working on my labels, but she, like, delayed everything because she, apparently she was so busy that she just did not take the time to just do my stuff. And so, she took forever to respond and just took forever to give me my final stuff. So, she delayed my process for, like, six weeks. And so, I could have had that up and running, but... Unfortunately, I'll have to wait another, probably another month until my stuff's ready, but I'm moving, so I'm no longer going to be able to make products, so my business is going to be out of stock for like a month. So, if I start selling wigs, that might be something that I could do. I'm going to have to find all the wigs on here that I, that I have from these companies to sell them, but honestly, I, I might... Okay, so now we're going to get into my hair products. I know a lot of y'all are curious as to how many hair products I have. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a product junkie. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. I haven't been a product junkie for years. Bro, this tape is getting on my nerves. But yeah, I haven't been a product junkie for years. But, you know, when you are a hair influencer or whatever type of influencer I am at this point, I don't even know. You get sent a lot of PR stuff and also paid collaborations. You know what's funny though? I barely had any like natural hair collabs, like paid collabs. In the past three years since being on social media, I've maybe had like five actually like natural hair related collabs. I've had a couple of skincare, but I mostly just had wigs, which is kind of sad to be honest, but you know what's funny? Okay, bro. No tea, but all tea. I actually got approached 
the other day by a really well-known like really big natural hair care brand they but they were trying to pay me like 30 percent of what i should have been paid and i was shocked because i was like because it's like it's one of those companies where you know without a shadow of a doubt they have the budget to pay for influencers to promote their products and to be fair i think this is one of the companies that everyone thought was black owned but it's not really black owned um but i was still shocked that they weren't even trying to they were trying to pay me like they wanted three youtube videos for like 750 dollars i'm like are you kidding me i charged double that for one video and they were wanted like eight to ten minute full videos with natural hair products which means like three wash day styling videos i'm like all that work all that editing like if y'all knew what i go through just to film a wash day routine you'd be like yeah you deserve and then like those types of videos they take a lot longer to edit. Actually, you know what? I lie. I feel like the longest, the videos that take the longest to edit, I don't know what this is. The videos that take the longest to edit are the ones where I'm just sitting in front of the camera talking. Um, watching videos, they take more time to film because you have to make sure everything's perfect because like you're in the shower and you want to make sure that people can see you and the camera's not fogging up. You have to deal with lighting and stuff while, you know, trying not to get your stuff wet it's a lot harder to film but uh i don't know what this is at the bottom of my stuff but still that's a lot of time and energy and effort that you're putting into youtube i feel like out of all my social media platforms youtube is the one where i should charge the most because number one like yeah i got a million followers on tiktok but i have the most consistent engagement on youtube we are almost like 323 no we're like 330k subscribers at this point so it's kind of crazy that someone was reaching out to me saying, oh, we want you to do three YouTube videos. And I'm talking, y'all would know this company if I said it. Like, that's how sad it is. And I was like, are y'all really still doing this? I'm like, I don't understand the big deal about just paying somebody for advertisement. All right, let me just take this out. Because I don't know why I'm picking this out with my one. Ooh, no okay, then I have some up here. Let me grab the ones I have on my counter. It's ridiculous at this point. Ooh. And I think I have some more in this other cabinet. Let me grab it. I'm trying to make sure I pack all my hair care products in one thing. So these are all the hair care products that I have. Which is a lot, not gonna lie. Let me like tilt y'all down a little bit. That's better. You can see all my hair care products. And I think what I want to do is since some of these are like glass. I think I'm, and I also don't want stuff to leak. I'm gonna wrap it in bubble wrap. So let's just see. I'm gonna throw away the products that I actually don't even use anymore. Because at this point, I just have too many. So. And I, I guess it'd be fun to kind of like go through what's PR and what stuff. I, actually, most of this is PR while I'm playing. Um, but anyways, honestly, I just don't see, like, why people just don't want to pay for advertisement anymore. It's like, it's like, when it comes to, like, commercials and stuff, it's, like, understood, or, like, Facebook ads and stuff, it's understood you pay Facebook or you pay whoever to promote your ad, whether you get a sale or not. Like, that doesn't matter. You pay for how much work you want done. You pay for how long you want the stuff to be online. And you pay for how many people that the system's going to expose it to. Like, you don't get to, like, say, oh, well, I'll pay you after I get sales. Or let's just try it out first and see. No, you got to pay them a friend. So, I understand when it comes to influencers, it's like, <laughs> well, we want you to do free work. And then if you if you get us sales, then uh, we'll pay you then. I'm, and then we're only going to pay you, like, a fourth of No. Like, if you want someone to advertise on their social media platforms and they have enough followers, enough engagement to get you active sales, you should be paying them. Or, like, you have to pay them. Like, this one company was like, well, how about we test it out? I'm like, so you want me to work for you and not get paid? I was like, don't you get paid for your job? <laughs> like, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, let's see what we're going to pack first. Let's do all, like, the long bottles first, and then we'll do jars. I don't know, there's no rhyme or reason. So we have my shampoo, which is, I don't know when this is actually gonna be available again on my website. <laughs> we have this white girl products that, like all the products that I get sent in PR that are like not made for my hair type, I just save and use for my wigs. So it works out. I have so much developer, cause I was trying to bleach some knots. I guess I'm just gonna wrap it, you know? Or you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a layer of bubble wrap on the bottom of the box, and then lay all this stuff on in layers. 
It's gonna take too long to wrap each individual thing. So let's just rip off some and lay it on the bottom of this box. And just start throwing stuff in here. I'm gonna make sure everything is closed and sealed. But honestly, there's nothing really leaked in here, so I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna try my best to do this in a good order. Like, I got this like a year ago. I remember uh, the main choice sent me this line when I first uh, moved into this apartment. Like, my first wash day I ever did in my shower, filming it. Um, in that shower, I used this. So I remember that. Um, let's see. I just did a YouTube video, not a YouTube video, a sponsorship with this uh, line from Isha Naturals. I actually really like this line. I've never really had a lot of natural hair products that I don't like just because natural hair products to me kind of all are the same. I feel like natural hair products that are bad, it's like those natural hair products that you know, like you know before you use it, it's not going to work. Or you know the brand is trying to cater to like everybody, not just like natural hair. So you know it's not going to work for you sort of thing. Dang, I can't rip it. It's like pre-ripped, so you should be able to find a little line. Oh, there it is. Not the same thing. So I'm just going to put like a piece of bubble wrap on every single layer like that. So hopefully that'll work. I got this spray bottle. I'm gonna pour this out before I, cause I don't want it to like. Okay, so we have this apple cider vinegar, which I know I've been using for face mask, for bentonite clay mask. Got some oil for my hair care line. Just going in here. What else am I gonna do? The Do, I actually got a bunch of their products when I was living in my old apartment, SPR. I actually didn't know who they were then. They weren't as popular then, but they're definitely popular now. I got, I've had this purple shampoo since I was in college. So I've had this purple shampoo for years. Um, I bought it because I was like bleaching knots in college. I used to make my own wigs in college. Not the best though. Let's see. I got this hairspray for my wigs. I never even used it. This was PR. I don't know what this is. I got this dry shampoo for my wigs, which actually I really like. Um, if you've ever like, your wigs get kind of like iffy after a certain amount of time. This Monday hair care brand, they sent me like, I think they sent me two PR packages so far. And I haven't really used their products because, this is the, I'm not trying to show y'all. The Monday, I haven't really used their products because they're not made for me, you know? So, but I mean, they look nice and they look aesthetic, which is why I keep them on display. <laughs> then we have some more of the main choice that line they sent me. This is my OG shampoo that I've been using for years. I think this, I think I've had this bottle for over two years now. Um, so, I mean, I haven't really used it in a while because I've had some new products that I've been trying that I've been sent. You know, y'all used to get on me so bad for OGX. And so... I stopped using it. The only reason I stopped using OGS is because I got sent new shampoos to try, but I'm not gonna lie. I, I would really like, if it was right there and I was washing my hair, I would, I would still use it. I personally don't think it's that deep, so. Yeah. This Monday hair care brand, yeah, they sent me, what they sent me actually? So they sent me two of these, four of these. They're both like shampoo and conditioner sets. One's a reparative treatment for dry damaged hair, and then one's a moisturizing treatment. I don't think, I, I think I might've used a conditioner. It feels a little light. I don't know, I may use it on my next wash day. Who knows? Also, the reason why I wait to wash my hair so long is like sometimes I'll get sponsorships for hair care brands that want me to try their, you know, pay me to do videos on their shampoos and their conditioners. And so I'm not going to like specifically wash my hair for a brand deal. So I like to wait as long as I can to see if I'll get any potential ones. Like my last wash day, I waited an extra two weeks because I had a brand deal. And I was waiting on them to send me the product so I could go ahead and just wash my hair when, I, when that happened. Like I'm not going to wash my hair and then get a brand deal two weeks later and wash my hair again for, for a video. I'm not doing that. If you have wigs, you need this. Okay, so I have some Evan spray. I have two of them. Um, should I keep both of them? I actually have three. Why did I buy three of these? Oh, this was around the time I was wearing a lot of wigs. Like, so I was running out, so I bought three of them. I mean, I'm gonna keep them. Why not? There's no point in throwing it away. My favorite leave-in, the As I Am leave-in conditioner. I haven't used that in a while, actually. Let's see what else I have in here. The, the Dew, yeah, they sent me, the Dew sent me, like, conditioner, 
um, shampoo, they sent me their mousse, so they sent me a bunch of stuff. I've been using this mousse faithfully though. I, I have been, so I wanted to try, y'all know that like mousse only wash and go I did um, on my YouTube channel. I actually wanted to try their defining mousse, not this mousse, it's a different kind they have. But it was sold out everywhere, so I used a different regular schmegler mousse. The regular schmegler mousse. I thought I was going to need only one box for this, but we're, we're almost to the brim. Let me see if I can fit some stuff like on the sides. There is this scalp oil that's bomb. Actually, the new oil that I have coming, this one, this is an instant freeze. Um, like if you get, if your scalp gets really itchy in braids, and not even just braids and hairstyles in general, this stuff right here, I only use this thing one time. I was wearing a wig and my head was itching so bad. I put this on instant relief. So I don't know. I'm definitely keeping this. I forgot I had this too, but I don't be wearing wigs like that no more. So my head don't be itching like that. But when I tell you, I was about to scratch my head off. My head was itching so bad. This is last shampoo. I'm gonna say this because I don't want to mix this up. Okay, I think that's all for the bottom. Oh, no, look. I have this Neoxin. This brand sent me a bunch of stuff. Shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, all that type of stuff. Honestly, it looks like it's made for white hair. I looked it up and all I saw was white girls. So I was like, you know what? Let me just not press my luck on that. Um, Got this C22 dissolvent, which I like. This is some stuff from this brand. And then y'all see me use this a lot. This Colleen Rothschild. Um, Colleen Rothschild sent me a bunch of skincare. I did a video of my, my skincare routine before. And I used a bunch of their products. I really like their skincare. Um, but their hair care is not made for me. So I use it for my wigs. But this is really like, for this hair, this is really good. Then we have some blue hair dye that I use when bleaching the knots. To get rid of the bronziness. Y'all have seen that. My Evan Lace tint. I have two of these. I have the color... What color is this? Medium brown. Lace tint over everything. I have a wax stick. I'll be asking me about wax sticks a lot. Honestly, I only use wax sticks whenever my hair is straight or blow dried. And I'm trying to do like a slick back style. I don't want to have the waves that you know you get when your hair reverts from using gel. So that's when I use a wax stick. I don't remember how well this worked. It smells good though. We got shining gem, which I'm definitely gonna keep. So I'm about to do some braids. This is trash. So y'all see me use this on my Instagram when slicking back my hair. Do not use it. This is the knockoff version of shining gem, and it does not work. So if you ever try to do braids, don't get this because it doesn't work. I'm throwing this away actually because I'm not even gonna use it. We got bentonite clay. Definitely need that. I got this um, Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink gel a long time ago i want to do a comparison between eco styler and this gel to see like if this really works for shrinkage but i never got a chance that might do that in a future video but y'all know i hate wash and goes so that's that. more eco styler got this um braiding gel which honestly i haven't used this on braids i've used this to slick back my hair in a video and i don't know how well this would hold with braids i might try it since I don't know, it's just like with braids, it's like, you can't really like afford to be playing around with stuff you don't know, because they just take so long to do, and if you mess them up, that's it. I'm not about to sit there and redo braids like that. Got some, what is this? I use all of this, what is this? This is some type of edge control. I don't know what this is. Um, We have some curl custard from the dough. I mean the do. I keep hitting the dough. A curling smoothie. I think that's all we're gonna get for now. This one's actually, uh, I tried this for you guys. This edge control, this gummy edge control did not work at all. I just, I'm very reluctant to throw stuff away, honestly. I have this serum that I got sent. This is my first ever, like, PR thing I ever got sent. Um, first thing I ever got sent in general as a social media influencer. I mean, I've had it. I've never used it since I got it. I'm just not really a huge oil person. Y'all know that. I just use oil when needed, so I just don't use oil that much. This is my favorite, um twisting cream i used to love this when i went natural first went natural honestly i might throw it away because i it's it's, it's very old so i think i'm gonna throw it away because it's been a very long it's been like three four years since i've even used this so i think i might just throw it away just because it might be bad i don't know i think that's all i have here though my hair butter oh it's still nice i'm gonna keep this because it's still nice and fresh this is the original hair butter so i mean Ooh, I might have to take this with me in my suitcase. This might melt on the trip. This might not make it. 
This is one of the reasons why I don't sell this product, why I didn't sell this product over the summer, because it, it's gonna melt. It's gonna melt, but we'll just see. I'm, I'm gonna take that with me. I'm not gonna pack it and let the movers take it, because it's gonna be sitting in the hot truck, and it's probably gonna melt, and it might leak over everything. I remember one time, like, before I started, like, before I was on social media, before I started selling that, um, I went on this church retreat, and I had packed it with me, because I knew I was going swimming or something, so I washed my hair. And when I tell y'all, it had completely melted and leaked all over my clothes. Why can I not rip this bubble wrap? That's what's really blowing me right now. This is supposed to be pre-ripped, right? Yeah. Okay. And you know what? It's actually perfect that the movers aren't going to be coming tomorrow because I'm not sure if I have enough boxes. I've already used like half of my boxes. After this, all I have left is the um, my kitchen. So I feel like I might need a couple more boxes, but I mean, it's good to have an extra day to kind of see. Because y'all, I really sat here like last Thursday through like Sunday. I really just laid in my bed and did nothing i did stuff like i worked and filmed and stuff like that but i didn't do anything as far as moving so and i had a lot of stuff to handle in my business so yeah and i think i'm gonna take this i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it i'm just want, i'm just taking everything that i think i'm gonna need and i can always like throw it away or sell it or give it away once i'm at my new place i just really wanted to sell my furniture that was like the big thing i wanted to sell so i sold all my furniture all right so i think i'm gonna finish up with my bathroom and my kitchen and i'm probably just gonna come back to you guys tomorrow and we'll i'm gonna show you how far i got so <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys we'll see we'll see we'll see hey guys so it's the next day it's thursday and i've officially finished packing my entire apartment look how much stuff that is i have about 25 boxes so it's not that bad to literally everything from my kitchen closet i have like four boxes of clothes which i think is ridiculous but it is what it is so i was actually done last night but i ran out of packing tape i was so mad because i had about like two of them of like the really big ones and so the movers are supposed to be here around 10 ish and so it's currently 9 30 i just got back from the store because i went to get some more packing tape i was so mad i had to get up that early like i said i was supposed to actually be leaving today but the movers decided to come a day later so i'm actually going to be leaving tomorrow morning i have to leave at like 8 30 because it's going to take me about seven hours to get there which is pretty insane and i don't know like now that everything's like starting to come together i'm like kind of getting excited a little bit but also nervous because i don't know anybody in atlanta and i don't want to be like just by myself all the time like i have been here since leaving med school so hopefully i can find like you know a nice friend circle and all this good stuff so yeah let me just show you guys the state of the rest of my apartment right now so in this corner right here is everything that i'm going to take with me in my car so i have the tv mount for my flat screen that they're going to take some decor this is my wig box that y'all saw yesterday and then that's just a suitcase of clothes that just to keep me until they can drop off my stuff and then this is my shoe rack i don't know if i want to keep this but i'm just going to take it with me just in case because i don't know and we still have the two boxes of my mailers because i've never got the return info for them so and then of course in my bedroom, y'all seen that air mattress. I'm just going to take that with me because I need a bed to sleep on. I've been looking on Pinterest for like how I want to decorate my apartment. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I want it to look expensive and, and like luxury, of course, like on a budget. But I don't know. I just don't know. But we'll figure that out later. But honestly, I'm so tired right now. I'm about to drink my coffee because I didn't have any coffee because I want to make sure I got everything done before they came. So I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to read my Bible. And then I'm going to try my best to get the return labels for those mailers and return those today. And then after that, I'm just going to clean my apartment. Like, I don't want to be one of the people that just leave your apartment like trash. My apartment's not like dirty, but like I want to make sure I clean the bathroom and you know, sweep the floor and stuff like that. Just do a little something. And then also my fridge. I'm gonna clean out my fridge. And then I had bought this little ice cooler thing. Actually, let me get it. So I bought this cooler from Walmart. So all the stuff that I wanna take with me out of my fridge, I'm just gonna put some ice in here and take it with me on the road. To me, that's like condiments. So I'm not trying to rebuy condiments if I don't have to. Cause that stuff adds up. And then also like, um, coffee creamer, you know, stuff like that that I use every single day. That way I don't have to go without that because by the time I get there tomorrow, it's gonna be really late. And so I don't wanna be having to run around to get essential stuff after driving all day. 
So I kind of just want to get something to eat and then just chill. And then the next day do all that. So, all right. So I guess I'm going to come back to you guys whenever we set out on the road tomorrow. Because I have really nothing else to do today. So, yeah. Hey, guys. It's the next morning. Hold on, turn the hair down. It's the next morning. It is currently almost 8 o'clock. And I am about to hit the road. It's so crazy. Like, I literally just closed the door of my apartment. And I'm like, I'm really leaving. Like, this is the last time I'm going to be in my apartment. I'm, like, sweating. Because it took me, like... 20 minutes to put all this up in my car and it's like super super humid it like hailed yesterday which was so weird but if i leave now i gotta stop and get gas so i will probably get there around 9 10 11 12 1 2 like 3 4 o'clock which i think is really really good and yeah let, let's hit the road okay guys so i have two more hours left so it's been five hours it's currently one 30. I thought this drive was supposed to be six hours and then I found out it was actually seven hours so I literally could have been like almost there by now but we only got two more hours left um I'm exhausted <laughs> when I started driving I started driving at eight so yeah it's been like five and a half hours so I'm pretty exhausted but we're almost there I'm gonna hang on the only thing I'm just like irritated about I guess is like when I get there I'm gonna have to bring all this stuff up to my apartment thankfully there's an elevator in my new place but I'm gonna have to make like three or four trips which kind of sucks a little bit so hopefully it's not that bad and yeah I also have to figure out what I want to eat for dinner because I don't know <laughs> that either I don't even know what's around the area but yeah so we got two more hours and yeah we <laughs> we almost there <laughs> Okay guys, well this is it. I've officially been in Atlanta for like four days now. I moved into my place. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna do a house tour or not. I'm still debating that just cause like, recently I saw stuff with like De'Ara and stuff like, she said she's not doing house tours and stuff anymore. And I'm not saying I'm as famous as her, but like it only takes one person to be a stalker. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll show bits and pieces of my apartment over time, but not like the whole thing. Yeah, I really love my place. I'm really excited. Look at this view. Like this view is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with my place. I spent like, I want to say a good two months looking for apartments. I even went to Atlanta with my stepmom back in March to apartment shop and I ended up picking this one but I had only seen the place one time very quickly and so I didn't really remember what it looked like in person. Now that I'm here I'm like it's absolutely gorgeous. I was really nervous because I thought I would need a two bedroom you know like a filming studio and an office but honestly this apartment is so spacious and I've been filming in my bathroom anyway so I'm a hair and beauty influencer so I guess it don't really matter but yeah so I'm super excited. I'm gonna go on a whole bunch of solo dates and do activities I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm just really, really, really excited. Now, if you live in Atlanta and you have some fun stuff to do, definitely leave it in the comments below. Also, any church recommendations, cause you know we gotta do it for the Lord, leave those in the comments below as well because I'm gonna be looking for a church probably starting next week. Um, I'm still waiting on my movers to get my stuff. It's currently Monday, so I got here Friday. So yeah, it's currently Monday, so should expect it sometime this week, so I'm not really tripping. Now, I already ordered like 80% of my furniture already, so I should have everything furnished and like be almost done by the end of the month is the goal. So y'all gonna get a bunch of like home, you know, decor content, I guess, lifestyle content on my Instagram and TikTok, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you guys want me to vlog more, I can. Just let me know because these take a lot of time to film and edit, <laughs> and there's a lot of space. Uh, so you have to buy a lot of SD cards, so I don't want to keep doing them if y'all don't like them. So just kind of let me know. I will if y'all like them, but if you don't, let me know. Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. And yeah, I will see you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you see in me.